Here we are in May 21st, 2012. We've just finished setting up our fledgling apiary here at Plowshares Community Farm. We've got three beautiful hives started. We started with nucleus hives that I got from a fellow beekeeper, uh, Jonathan Mitchell, out of New Gloucester, Maine. We relocated the nukes uh, yesterday, actually, um, and got them set up here at uh, Plowshares Community Farm in Gorham. So as you can see, there's a little activity. It's kind of a nasty day. It's a bit cold and overcast. So the bees aren't all that interested in flying. So as you can see, there's a few bees doing some orientation flights, learning where their new hives are. And uh, hopefully going out to uh, check things out. So you can see it's going to be a nice quiet place for my bees. We... Uh, are out here in the middle of the field. There's not a whole lot growing yet. It's pretty early in the season. Hopefully, shortly. And there's the farmhouse way up on the hill. The road's out in front of that. So it's a pretty good hike down in here. You can see there's been a little logging going on and coming around here looking out over the potato field. So there should be plenty to do. We have over here, up on top of the hill behind the hives, um, we're going to be planting about 250 um, blueberry bushes, high bush blueberries, um, here pretty quick. So there'll be that for the bees in the spring. And if I pan back around over here again, on this little hill here, we have about 2,000 um, raspberry bushes. And then just on the other side of the hill up here, we have a couple hundred apple trees that we just started. And uh, just to the right of the farmhouse, as I come back around here again, we're going to plant a couple hundred more apple trees um, next spring. So there'll be plenty of fodder between that and all the other goodies that we have growing here out here at Plowshares Community Farm. There should be plenty for the bees. That and there's always lovely dandelions in the field, as you can see by evidence here not too far from the hive. Let's come down here a little bit closer and we'll talk about what we've got as the bees come and go a little bit. I've got standard 8 frame Langstroth hives. Um, right now I've got a deep on the bottom. I generally like to use 8 frame medium gear but the only nukes that I had available uh, were deeps. So that's what I have set up on the bottom. And the top box is the white box, is just a feeder. Um, I'm feeding the bees to give them a little bit to go on. Uh, we've got a couple of days of nasty weather coming up, and I want to make sure that they have plenty to eat. So um, the white boxes are just feed. As you can see here, this is actually the inner cover. So the bees are in here, the feed's up here, there's a hole in the middle of this board. Um, not this hole, but in the center that goes between the two boxes so that the bees can get to the feed in the box. So I've done that to all three hives. And I just added the entrance reducers so the bees are a little confused. The field bees that are coming back now are a little confused. Uh, when we came out here last night and I set the bees, I actually installed the bees last night. And when we did, I didn't have all my gear with me. So they spent the night with no entrance reducers. So they're a little confused as they come back now. But they'll figure it out pretty quick, as uh, anybody who's kept bees or will keep bees uh, will find out that uh, they're pretty quick to catch on. So these are uh, mongrel bees. Um, mostly it's a carniolan strain uh, mixed with whatever the queen happened to meet with. They're open mated bees. They're not professionally done. So we call them the main mongrels. They seem to be very gentle. Last night I installed them pretty late and they didn't seem to be all that concerned with me. And they appear to be pretty happy with their new hives. So, at the moment we have three hives out here, but that will be probably quickly to change. I think I'm going to try and add um, maybe another three uh, a little farther up here on the hill once we get this cleaned out. Uh, it's such a nice location and there's, you know, plenty to support. Plenty to support several hives out here, so we'll keep you guys updated as as the bees progress. So, but 
day one is a success. The bees are flying. Uh, all three hives seem to be active. Um, the third hive down there seems to be a little quiet at the moment, but I was in it to install the feed, and I know the bees are doing just fine, so they're probably inside busy taking feed. I guess that's all for now.